Here's an example where we're trying to determine the best way to aim in a split shot. The spot I'm pointing at there is where we wish black to travel to. This is where we want blue to travel to. The marks in the middle indicate first the bisect point, dividing the angle in half. The spot just to the left of that is the exact midpoint between the finishing positions of the balls. So we want to find out what's the best way to aim. The black tape you see uh, in front of the blue and black it shows the aiming point for the bisect point. So we can see that the blue ball went very close to the mark and black pulled in a bit. We'd expect the ball to pull in in a split shot such as that. Blue pulled in a little bit. So that was aiming at the bisect point. The ball's uh, going nearly where we'd expect them to. Now we're going to see a second attempt where we're going to aim at the point that's exactly midway between the positions we wish the balls to end. So we're aiming at this spot and here you can see the striker ball goes further from the desired finishing spot. And uh, we can see a little better view here. Blue much more to the left of its mark and black about where it was. Here's a very typical shot in a three ball break. Uh, the strikers just scored hoop number two, ball in hand, uh, wanting to send a pioneer to four and have the striker ball go toward the ball that is waiting for it at hoop three. Um, you can see a very distinct difference in the bisect point, the blue dot, uh, from the midway point between the finishing positions, the red dot. Uh, I would venture to say on a full-size lawn, the distance between blue and red is about five yards, maybe a little bit less. Here's an example of doing this shot on a properly proportioned small lawn. And while it's difficult to see the exact aim, it does appear that I am aiming to the left of hoop six, which is what the diagram would show would be necessary for the bisect point. There you can see the yellow ball vectored right to the ball at hoop three. Here's another example of the same shot, this done on a full-size lawn. Again, a bit difficult to tell the exact aim of feet, but I think once you see hoop six come into view, you'll see that I am aimed to the left of it. Here, unfortunately, due to the distance of the shot, you can see uh, the striker ball is very uh, tough to see, but it did land quite close to the ball at hoop number three. So, just to reiterate, uh, it is my strong belief that when choosing the aiming point in a split shot, it's best to bisect the angle rather than aim at the point that's midway between the finishing positions of the balls. Again, taking a look at this diagram, you can see there is quite a difference in this particular shot.